Hello everyone, this is Rahul Pawar and welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to discuss about one of the most requested thing that is drill down project or drill down report. Let us see how we get requirement and we will also see the output. So this is a real time replica of a requirement that I have received in one of my you know previous years that I have replicated to suit it with respect to sample superstore. So we'll see how I got the requirement and how I have created that. So to understand the requirement, I'm uh, taking you back to requirement document here. So if you observe, this is how I have received a report which states that user wants to have two date fields where he should be allowed to select a date range. Based on that date range, the summary of that information should be displayed. Like suppose user is selecting December 1st to December 20. Now, based on that range, I want to find out how many total customers I had, what were, what were the total orders we received and what is the total sales I had and similarly total profits and total products. So this is my summary page. So now drill down project basically means what driving or drilling down to detail level from a summary level. So this is our home page or a landing page where we are displaying summary of the information based on date range selected by the user. Now this 100 is there assume based on some date range we got 100 as value. But when user clicks on this 100 it should take him to level 2 that is this one total customer report which is level two here those hundred customer information should be displayed like what is the customer name what is the order id which product he has purchased and how many quantities did he purchase all that information we are tracking now suppose you know end user is really very curious to find out about a particular customer then he will click on this name customer name then it should take him to level three okay so this is customer name detail report which is our level 3 report so now here we are tracking the entire information about that particular information like to which region he belongs to to which state to which city you know how many orders and quantity like that all the detail information that is possible we are trying to capture at this okay now while we doing this we also need to navigate to our landing page from whatever the level we have like from summary to l1 or level 1 or level 1 to summary and similarly from l3 to my landing page that way i should be able to navigate let us see the output of this and understand so this is how i have created a simple dashboard for your you know identification or information or whatever you want or explanation purpose so here i have given an option uh, to the end user to select date so based on date range selected by the user this information will be displayed okay now one question for you try to write a logic for me where my date or i should get the data between this date range okay let us see how many of you will get that right a very simple logical check to see if you can get this i want to display the data based on date range selected simple so try to write a logic for that okay now i'm selecting a simple date like say i'm starting from 28 and i'm uh, selecting till uh, 30 assume how many I got 20 customers I got or rather I would select so like say 29 I will select 16 customers I got now user will try to find out who are these 16 customers so if I click on this it will take me to level 2 report which is about the customer report like these are the 16 customers and their order IDs and the products that have they have purchased and what is the total sales we had with that uh, order and total profit we made and how many quantities did we purchase all of that is being displayed suppose if at all i want to go back to my home page or my landing page from here itself simply i can click on this 
home button and it will take me back to my landing page or home page. Likewise, again, user might select a different date. And again, if at all he wants different information, he'll go back and he'll click. Like say, for example, I'll select only 28 for now. So only for single day it is, I'm clicking on this. So it is 10, 1, 2, 3, 6, 9 and 10, 10 customers here. Okay. Now I want to find out about this particular customers. Okay. I'm trying to click on that. And you see here it is talking about that particular customers. So this customer has placed two orders with us and total quantity is, is six. So like that, if at all you want to add more information, you can add it and you know you can display it here so basically this is how the navigation is working and how we are going from summary to detail level again i can go back to my home page or landing page by clicking from here okay so and what else is important here so if you remember or one keynote for all of those who are trying to practice or who are learning tableau is see how the alignment is done how the spacing is there how the font color is used so you have to be consistent with what you are using i am not telling this is the best that i have created you can create better than this i have just you know recreated it for illustration purpose so but you need to make sure whatever you are following is correct so font size i have used you know 16 across all of that my spacing is exactly correct everything is falling in line here you see all of my if i go to layout and select this my X position is 40 here. All of my objects are starting at that particular position. Likewise, these sheets are also starting at a very, uh, you know, standard position, which is falling in line. So this is what will make your dashboard look authentic or your dashboard look very professional. So I've created a drill down for only one, like say total customers. So, but I had like for all like total orders, total sales and total profits and total products like that for each of these key metrics that is there here. And on the right side, I have simply created a trend of sales for all of the years, highlighting what is my minimum sales and maximum sales for each year with respect to my month. Okay, so this is how you can create a simple drill down report and you can explain in your interview as well how a drill down report works and you know what all we need in that i hope this video helped you in knowing what is drill down report if it does don't forget to like share and don't forget to comment because that is how youtube algorithm works thank you for watching have a good day and bye bye